there's always a downside. And of course, you have, you know, you've had that attention on your life. Mm -hmm. And, and that's great, but then it, when things aren't going so well, it can be quite difficult. How do you deal with that when it's quite... Well, it is. I mean, it, you have your difficult moments, but you have to take the roof with the smooth. Sure. And I mean, we've just talked about how you weather a storm. Yeah. So yeah. we're pretty resilient in the hills. That's all you've got to do. You have to remember if you're absolutely... The bottom line is if you're proud of what you're doing, yeah. you ha kind of have to sort of shoulder it. So yeah, that's just exactly what we do. And just get on with In it. In other words, get on with it. Hey guys, well, that's about it. Because if, like me, you were tuning into that interview with Yorkshire Shepherdess Amanda Owen, expecting her to talk in detail about her marriage, blah, 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 as all the papers said she was doing so, and the social media said she was doing so, that's it. She doesn't really mention it. She kind of talks around it. And that's fine. She's entitled to her privacy. But I was led to believe she'd be talking about it in more detail. For some reason, this interview is not up on the channel for Lorraine's TV show, on YouTube, it's just not there. I don't know why they don't upload these sometimes. But here is the interview if you want to watch it. It's a little bit interesting. It's, yeah, it's, it's there. It's what it is. It's talking about cooking, swimming in lakes, and generally living in the country and being quite cold. So here you are. Yorkshire Shepherdess Amanda Owen joins me now. There is something magical about wild water swimming, isn't there? Absolutely. It, it's just, it's, well, it is about the surroundings, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. invigorating. It just feels like it sort of livens up the senses. It's just such, I guess it's, a, it's also sort of testing your own sort of willpower, isn't it? Yes, and your endurance, and that's a good thing. Yeah, that, that is a good thing. How was it, though, being on this programme on your own, Without the rest of the family, there you are. You got a bit of me time. <laughs> it was it was certainly it was certainly unusual. But, yes, but, but there you go. It, that is, I suppose, what wild water swimming is about. It is about mindfulness. It's about taking a moment. I guess the thing is, it's about it's about sort of calm. Yes, that is exactly what it's about. I mean, we go um, wild water swimming because, of course, it's been rebranded. It's just swimming at the end swimming, of the day. Yeah, it's swimming. You're right. But you're right. You have no other option in in Yorkshire other than to do cold water swimming. Right. Because I mean, it's always cold. <laughs> so usually, it's the, me and the children in the tarn or in the river or in the waterfalls. Yeah. It's all we've ever known. It's lovely. To become fashionable. Yeah, I know it has, but you've been doing it for years and years and years, Absolutely. and all of a sudden it's got a, it's got a label on it. But it's such a great thing. It's it's great for your mental health. It just makes you feel better and as you said that that peace and quiet because you mustn't get all that much of that no it, well it's kind of a bit of a split of course when you're out amongst the sheep and doing my work i have plenty of headspace but of course when i've got it's the broods and the toings and froings and everything going on it's very busy so i mean you can imagine the weather has played such a big part this yeah, last week of course what with the storm we've had no electricity How no did water you get on with that storm were you okay i mean well we are okay because yeah. we're all here but <laughs> but yes it had its, its high points and its low points yes this was this was last week wow i think low point was when tea was actually fried eggs and champagne Fried eggs and champagne is the way forward, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's but yes, quite good. Being plunged into darkness and all the rest of it and being in sub zero temperatures. But somehow you get by. You it's... always get by. The show is lovely, and people have got this thing of that they feel they know you and they've got to know the children and the animals, especially mm. as well, of course. Absolutely. There's always a downside, and of course, you have, you know, you've had that attention on your life. Mm -hmm. And, and that's great, but then it, when things aren't going so well, it can be quite difficult. How do you deal with that when it's quite... Well, it is. I mean, you have your difficult moments, but you have to take the roof with the smooth. Sure. And I mean, we've just talked about how you weather a storm. Yeah. So we're pretty resilient in the hills. That's all you've got to do. You have to remember if you're absolutely... The bottom line is if you're proud of what you're doing, yeah. you ha kind of have to sort of shoulder it. So yeah, that's just exactly what we do. And just get on with In it. In other words, get on with it. Ignore it. it. Get on with it sometimes is 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 a, is a good thing. Not always, not always. It just depends how you're doing. Now, look, I've been looking at this gorgeous book, celebrating the seasons with you, mm -hmm. and the photos are all. You, I didn't know you were a photographer as well. Uh, many things. I answer to many things, Lorraine, believe me. Shepherdess, Sherpa and Shoveler of, if you know what I mean. But it's great, is this, because you've got some recipes in here as well that you make. Recipes, well, anything, it, it was, the book was all about what people were saying to me. They said they loved the photographs, mm. of course, it's, it, I'm working with all the things you're not supposed to work with, children and animals. Children and animals. Amazing backdrop. And the other people, thing that people wanted to know was about how we catered 
what we what we ate basically. Right. So it was like forgiving recipes that basically you can make fit and that aren't too sort of heavy on the purse strings, that are cheap and cheerful, right. but are also incredibly forgiving. In other words, if you put it in the aga and it should be in for an hour and you get distracted with something else, it's still okay after a couple of hours. Excellent. That's what I like, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. And, and it's got lovely pictures in here of the kids picking fruit. Absolutely. Uh, making jam. You're doing all of these wonderful things. Well, I mean, it was a lockdown project. It was a lockdown project. So, I mean, with a back catalogue of over 100,000 pictures, the difficulty was really... <laughs> Trying to decide which I know with because of course it's a visual diary. Yeah. Every day there are things going on in the farm. Yeah. So it was like, how do we put all those together and follow them through the seasons? And that's what we've come up with. I think it's a great idea. Like you said, you're doing all these different things. You do Christmas cards for charity. You do lots and lots of things like that. But you talk, again, I mean, are you trained in, in photography or just the pictures for this book and the cards? Yeah. Just no training whatsoever. Point, point it's, it's all about it's all about <laughs> autofocus <laughs> and a camera that is made weatherproof with gaffer tape. Right. And the charity. I mean, the charity. I mean, we talk about you know um, the difficulties that we've endured this last week, but the you know there's been a lot of a lot of talk about you know difficulties that lots of families have had to go through with the pandemic, and particularly with um, RSF being a patron of that charity. Yeah. It's a charity that looks after. Not RSF, just, RSF, Rider Special Families, right. it's a local based charity that looks after nearly 400 families that have children and young adults with special needs and who, who have needed more support over the last 18 months. Of course. So anything you can do, we like a good story. That's what we like, and anything yeah. you can do to sort of put back into the community is a good thing. So, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Long may you continue doing the show. It gives us, a, it gives us an insight because We've all, many of us have sort of lost that connection with the land yeah. and lost that connection with the animals. And, and I love the fact that the kids just get on with it. They just do everything they've got to do. I mean, they're, they're going to grow up into such well-rounded adults that are already doing that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I absolutely, I absolutely hope so. But yes, I think, I think there's been sort of a new upsurge in the idea of looking at what we've got on our doorstep. Mm. Seasonality with food, mm. cooking and, and, you know, family and farming. There they are. There they are, looking gorgeous. Thank you so much Thank you. for coming in, Amanda. The book is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Winter on the Farm Lives is tonight, isn't it? Eight o'clock on Channel it 5. Is. And Amanda's book, Celebrating the Seasons, which is just lovely. There, isn't it? Thank it's you. out now. Just in time for Christmas. Well done, you. Just in time for Christmas. Yes, yes I wore my swimming costume. I was really pleased with that. I could have worn a full so subaqua gear, but I just no, had a swimming costume. Well done. Exactly. Endurance. Right after the break.